All right, just give me a minute. Are you ready? Good, okay. Aloha, travellers. This is Shirley Ann for the Travellers Ukulele Gig Guide podcast, where we talk to people about travel and ukulele. Oh, I'm excited. Travellers, today we're going to spend some time with a fellow that's living down in the, the Dandenong Ranges of Victoria. And we're going to meet Dan. And I've had the pleasure of meeting Dan, of working with Dan, of singing ukulele with Dan, and being part of Dan's team in one of his extra ukulele community activities. But we'll get to that a little bit later on. Folks, could I introduce to you Mr. Dan McEwen? Hi, Dan. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, travellers. How are you? Very good. It's a lovely sunny morning here in Victoria. Um, when you say sunny, do you really mean I, No, no, I, I do mean sunny. You take them when you get them. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, said sunshine, outside my door, it's sunny. And uh, the temperature is currently 29. What do you think your temperature is? Uh, well, it's, it's a lovely sunny 16 just at the moment here uh, at my nice. house. That's a marvellous <laughs> temperature summer's day. Brisk. By New, by Brisk. New Zealand standards. <laughs> Um, Dan, you're living down in the Dandenong Ranges. Is that where you're born and raised? No. Well, um, I've, be, I've been here for uh, just over 20 years. I'm no longer the new guy in the street. Um, that, that only lasts about 10 years. Um, I was originally born actually in New South Wales. Uh, my dad got a big promotion and job opportunity in Melbourne. So we all moved down to Victoria when I was in grade two. Uh, and been here ever since. Fantastic. Yep, lovely. I know Melbourne. Melbourne's a really great place. I used to live and work there. Um, what's your highlight? Uh, this is the Travellers Ukulele Gig Guide. So what would you suggest mm -hmm. travellers see around your neck of the woods? Perhaps people aren't really familiar with the Dandenong Ranges. Let's see. Uh, quite Yes, quite often I say Dandenong Ranges. People go, oh, that sounds nice. With no, I think, um, think Puffing Billy. Puffing Billy, uh, the steam engine, yes, literally goes past my window. You can see it go a couple of times a day, uh, looking out from my veranda. Uh, we have the tallest trees in the world. Forget those red gums. Uh, the mountain ash tops it out in the Guinness Book of Records. Uh, let's see, there's also in the area, Hillsville Sanctuary is also a fantastic. Bed and breakfasts galore. Uh, beautiful, beautiful temperate rainforest to walk your way through. Uh, there's cafes, little communities, uh, Alinda, Callista, um, uh, Sassafras, Belgrave, Emerald. We, we, uh, we are a wonderful place that is very welcoming to the traveller. Oh, fantastic. Look, I pick up on a couple of things there and uh, immediately a Credence Clearwater Revival, or maybe it wasn't even them, but choo, 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 looking out my back door. That they were very prophetic. They were obviously singing about my life 40 years before I got there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, and, and also... Oh, sorry, go on. So, so also with the ukulele interest, there are a number of ukulele groups uh, mm -hmm. in the area as well. So and always very welcoming for people to drop in and to uh, strum along with. Oh, uh, spill and they're the all beans. Listed on... Spill the beans, will you please? Spill the beans. And be specific. There's, there's, there's a number of... Um, uh, uh, U, UA3 groups in the area. There's groups like uh, Kalulu. Uh, there's the tall ones. Uh, all, all of these are listed on uh, the Travellers um, uh, Gig Guide, um, Group Guide, which is a fantastic resource. And and yes. again, congratulations. It's a tremendous achievement. You, you, it was 100 and how many? How big is it these days? 160 something? 168. 168 groups on that's that's amazing work well yeah. done Shelley well it's not me it's the community and the community is mm -hmm. adding in and and this is just uh, you know a place where they can jump off but yes bravo to the uh, you tastic people of Australia and our little tag here is trying to find mm -hmm. you tastic people in every town mm, that's the big dream okay Dan so uh, I think Let's have a, just a little bit of a, put a little bit more context around you as um, a ukulele player. Pray tell, mm -hmm. what is your um, profession, your career, your day job? 
my, my day job is I'm a classroom music teacher at Emerald Primary School, which is a, a local primary school. Uh, 500 and I think this year 510 kids is there. Uh, and uh, I, I'm, I'm bringing the ukulele to the community over the last 15 years. Uh, and uh, yeah, ukulele is cool at my school. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, Dan, what sort of, you mentioned there were some ukulele clubs there, quite a few. Uh, are there mm. special events that are held for ukulele in your part of the woods? Absolutely. Uh, shameless plug here. Uh, the Hills Ukulele Festival, which is coming up in mid-May, is uh, run by myself, um, um, underwritten and hosted by Emerald Primary School. Uh, we've got uh, a whole day of uh, workshops and concerts on the Saturday of the uh, 18th of May this year, followed by the 19th of May, which is a totally free event where we currently look like we're going to be just over 30 different community groups from all over Victoria coming along and playing across three stages uh, all through the Sunday with Marketplace and uh, Bar and uh, fantastic top-notch food we've got local restaurants uh, uh, have come in so we've got uh, some very interesting tasty fare to have uh, along with barista coffee it's uh, it's it's an amazing event it's 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 grown and grown and grown over the last five or six years thank you and please for the listeners if you missed the name of said event and date of said event it is the Hills Ukulele Festival on the 18th and 19th of May this year. Uh, the website, all Facebook page, Hills Ukulele Festival. Huff might get you there, you never know. But you type in Hills Ukulele Festival, you will find us where we've got a very good search engine things. We're up on the first page. You'll find us straight away. Okay, Hills Ukulele Festival. They've got SEO under wraps. Uh, Check it out, travellers, if you happen to be on the road from the bottom of the country um, and are looking for some uh, uh, group ukulele action. Um, Dan, would would you I... like a, would you like a, uh, a scoop, Shirley Ann? Yes. This hasn't been announced anywhere yet, but would you like to hear the headline acts? Yes. Yes. So our, our, our big headline acts for who will be running workshops along with others, but also the evening concert, uh, the Talk Shop Ladies, the uh, the Ukulele Scotsman, and the Poet and the Fool. Oh, okay. Who are all, all of them fantastic, fantastic performers and teachers. So come along and uh, learn heaps of things. Fantastic. Well, you've heard it here right from the uh, head teacher's mouth. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to call you a horse. <laughs> now, Dan, you do something else with ukulele, don't you? Um, there's a, a, an organisation. Um, somebody's got to get people organised. And there's an, an organisation for ukulele players if you're interested in it. And you've mm. got something to do with that, don't you, Dan? Yes, yes. Uh, or Ortla, or the uh, Australian Ukulele Teachers and Leaders Association. Uh, we've been, well, we're, we're almost, I'm just thinking about this, we're coming up on our 10th birthday very, very soon, which is very exciting. Um, and uh, it's an organisation that is dedicated to supporting ukulele teachers and group leaders. We, we try and offer resources, uh, uh, PD sessions, uh, whether it's um, in connection with ukulele festivals or just recently uh, in, in the dark days uh, over Zoom. So we, we had uh, people from quite frankly, all over the world, doing uh, some fantastic uh, sessions with our members uh, on online uh, for the last four years. Yeah, four, four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2020 was, everything went a bit uh, pear-shaped for everyone. Uh, and we've been uh, pushing through there. But uh, yeah, we, um, we, we hope to make the lives of ukulele group leaders and teachers and, and classroom music teachers easier. That's, it's a nice thought to go, we can help people make their lives easier. That's what we're here to do. Mm, that's interesting and a very nice sentiment as well. So um, you you speak about membership. Is it a, mm -hmm. a, subs a paid membership? The, the, it's, it's an annual membership of $30 a year, uh, which is 
nothing. Uh, and uh, fr from that, uh, you have access to our uh, website. Um, you can find us on, um, people sometimes have difficulty with Ortla, um, getting the spelling right. So we also, ukulele.org.au will get you, get you to our website. Mind you, people sometimes have difficulty spelling ukulele, but I'm sure your, your members know exactly what they're doing. Uh, ukulele.org.au will get you there. Uh, and um, it gives you all the resources. Uh, now, anyone can come to our, our live PD sessions. In fact, there's a uh, Friday the uh, 15th as part of the Melbourne Ukulele Festival. We have an afternoon with some very talented people, uh, a Vic Kenner, who I believe you know, Shirley Ann, uh, and, uh, and a Cameron Murray, and Cameron Murray uh, will be running workshops uh, for Ortla as part of the Melbourne Ukulele Festival. And again, uh, an incredibly cheap price of $30 for those two workshops will, that's, yeah, we're, we're not here to, to make money, Shirley Ann, we're here to support ukulele players. Uh, and uh, if we break even, we're pretty happy with that. So tickets are on sale through the Melbourne Ukulele Festival webpage. Uh, and uh, I hope to see as many people there as we can. Fantastic. Travellers, I'm just going to check in here. What uh, Dan is describing is a national um, association, the Australian Ukulele Teachers and Leaders Association, and it's an organisation that's been established, as Dan said, to support um, uh, teachers and leaders of ukulele in community, no matter what level you're at. So this is a particular resource for those of you who are in regional towns. And if you know me, you know that I'm all about getting the opportunities that the big city players have out into the regional towns in every uh, uh, territory and state. So uh, folks, I encourage you to uh, look up Ortler, A-U-T-L-A, -A. could be a cheerleader well done. cry there, um, <laughs> on Facebook or the web and uh, check it out to the benefit of yourself and uh, your ukulele group members. Okay, well that's mm -hmm. enough for the free plug. A. Eh? Fair enough, fair enough. Thank you. Now, Dan, tell me, what is your favourite song to play on ukulele? Uh, oh, there are there are so many. Uh, one of my favourite songs is my favourite song because my it's my dad's favourite song to hear me play it. Uh, other favourite songs are because uh, it's one of the first songs I ever sung to my wife when I was courting her. Uh, uh, there's 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 lots of different opportunities options there um one of my uh, favorite concert experiences was actually finding myself sitting on stage uh at a weddings parties anything billy bragg concert in st kilda uh, i thought I, I wasn't bothering anyone I was sitting quietly uh and uh, i turned around halfway through the concert to discover that there was a, a bouncer there the largest Samoan man I've ever seen in my life, Shirley Ann, just standing there looking at me. Not and, and he nodded and went, You're okay, mate. That's fine. He he'd seen me there and I enjoyed the entire concert. Uh huge weddings parties anything fan, and that's that's one of my favorite songs. Okay. So a, All right. a long very, very long, long chat there. <laughs> okay. Um let's have a think. You mentioned um a variety of different things in that. Mm -hmm. in that um, little segment there. Um, the song that your dad likes to hear you play, a song that you sang to your wife when you were courting her, um, a memory uh, at Billy Bragg. Do you have another fantastic, what's your best fantastic, uke-tastic, ukulele memory that you've got so far? Oh, and I, know I, I have many, that. So, oh, Right. Yeah, I've got it, got it, got it, got it. I, I, I know the answer to this question. Uh, we've, we've been um, working with ukuleles at my primary school for, um, well, coming up to uh, 12 years now. Uh, my, uh, my dream of everyone being able to play the ukulele is, is slowly coming true. Uh, and I, I couldn't have been prouder. Um, last year, uh, we were very, very uh, lucky to have the group Dead Man's Uke come out to the primary school to perform 
to the school. And uh, they asked the question, oh, who here knows how to play the ukulele? Three quarters of the hands went up from, from the 510 or so kids. But they couldn't believe that. And they just said, oh, look, prove it. And they got what, picked at random. Kid came out, did it fantastic. The, on, the only kids who, who felt they couldn't put their hand up were the preps and grade ones uh, because we haven't quite got to them yet. I can tell you that those grade ones from last year are in grade two this year. They would have been able to put their hand up this year. So it is, ukulele is cool at my school. And just to have that recognition with international artists, that was, uh, that just filled my heart with joy right there. Oh, that's awesome. High five to the screen, buddy. That. There we go. A really good story. <laughs> well done. Well done to you. There you go. Teachers working behind the scenes <laughs> every single day. Note by note, they're going to overtake the world. Okie dokie. Now, um, even though this episode is going to air um, towards the end of February mm -hmm. um, and towards the end of March, in a couple of weeks, you're going to be part of a big uh, event in Melbourne, aren't you, Dan? Uh, and I am uh, you did just mention it a little bit before. Uh, tell us what's happening for you for you, for Ortla and uh, at the Melbourne Ukulele Festival. Oh, that's, that's a multi-pronged question. Uh, for me, there is, on the Friday, there is the Ortler Afternoon with uh, Vic Kenner and Cameron Murray, as, as mentioned. Uh, on the Saturday, there is an incredible uh, range of uh, performances across multiple stages with workshops. It's, it's a huge event. I can't recommend it enough. I know I'll be spending all my time there. And on the Sunday, the uh, Emerald Primary School Orchestra, uh, which is about 20 kids strong just at the moment uh, will be performing at 11 o'clock on stage followed by the tall ones who are mostly the parents of the uh, ukulele kids who decided that well our kids can't have all the fun we want to learn how to play the ukulele too and so they learnt. and the, the, the Shelley and I'm sure you've realized this the thing about ukulele is once you've learnt how to play it the first thing you want to do is to play it with a group of other people. Uh, and once you're doing that, you want to perform in front of other people, particularly other ukulele players, which is what a ukulele festival is all about. So our, our both groups are growing. I'm very pleased to say that uh, people who are leap, it's been the, the curse of, of primary school teachers as kids grow up and go off to, to secondary school and leave. A number of those kids left the orchestra, have gone on to a, um, secondary school. They come back and they've joined the tall ones. So it's uh, so as as one group gets smaller and, and replenishes, the other group gets bigger as well. So that's that's our uh, weekend on the uh, 15th, 16th, 17th of March uh, coming up. Now there's there's another thing that your travellers might be interested, Shirley Ann, and that is the Launceston down in in Tasmania, the Launceston Ukulele Jamboree. Uh, Ortler is uh, running uh, workshops as part of the whole massive event run by uh, Jackie Anafanatis and her amazing committee. Uh, and uh, again, check check out U uh, Launceston Ukulele Jamboree online on Facebook and, and their website. There's there's an unbelievable weekend coming forward that that weekend. I'm going to be a bit tired, I must admit, Shirley Ann, two weekends in a row. But uh, I'll, I'll struggle through for the joy of ukulele. There you go. Fantastic. Travellers, as you know, uh, Jackie Anafandis is the um, uh, music director and big brain behind the Lawn Seston Ukulele Jamboree. And we have uh, a wonderful conversation with her coming up in a couple of weeks. But Dan is correct. Uh, down the <laughs> southern end of the country, far, far away from Cairns in my tropical hometown there's uh, two uh, weekends uh, two weekends um, uh, of ukulele music the Melbourne ukulele festival and uh, and the following weekend is the lawn system ukulele jamboree so that is something fantastic to look at isn't it great uh, are you going to be performing down there at uh, lawn 
Uh, I, I believe Jackie, when uh, she asked me to come down to help with the uh, Ortler workshop, said, "Now, how are you at MCing, Dan?" And so I'm, 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 I'm you're going to find me wearing a bright shirt, standing on a stage, introducing people. Uh, I'm, I'm joining. Uh, uh, Graham, the ukulele Scotsman, and a number of people for some ukulele jams, uh, and you'll finally you'll find me at some open mic somewhere. You you can't go to a festival and not not perform something somewhere. Good, well done. Well, congratulations to you, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful time at Hills Festival, at the Melbourne Ukulele Festival, and at the Launceston Ukulele Jamboree. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friend. Well, I think we're just about at the end of our conversation. So I only have this question to really ask you. What is your big ukulele dream? Well, I'm nearly there, Shirley Ann. I'm nearly there. When I said three quarters of the children at the school put the hand up when they said they could play the ukulele, we're going to get 100%, inclu including the teachers. I'm, I've been working away at the teachers. Uh, there are uh, three, three staff members are part of the tall ones as well. So my, my plans are coming to fruition. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's picking up momentum. There's, there's a fourth and a fifth on the way as well. So that's, that's the dream. Uh, and, and from there, we just, uh, spread out to the rest of the world. Today, Emerald Primary School, tomorrow, the world, Shirley Ann. That is fantastic. Um, Dan, I just am um, really so grateful that you've taken the time to talk to us today. Um, My pleasure. By chance, okay. do you have a song prepared to sing to us? Funny you should. I, I happen to have a ukulele right here, Shirley. Ah. I, I wasn't expecting, but you never know. So, <laughs> so uh, 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 uh. now, as I said, I, I mentioned... Uh, and yes. what sort of yes. ukulele have you got? What, what, are you, what, are you, uh, what are you wearing this, today? Uh, wearing today? I, I, I suffer from UAS, uh, Shirley, and I'm sure a number of your followers experience this, uh, ukulele acquisition syndrome. Uh, today I am uh, working with my Scott Wise concert ukulele. It is a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of equipment. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, and uh, this is uh, what I'm going to be playing with. Now, I... Um, it's, uh, I, I have over 20 ukuleles. Uh, I share this one with my wife. It's the most expensive thing, expensive ukulele we have. We won it in a raffle uh, nearly 20 years ago. Uh, and uh, there we go. So um, if you ask my wife, it's her ukulele. And if you ask me, I say it's her ukulele, but she lets me use it. So there, there we go. There we go. Good answer. Uh, so, <laughs> that's co the correct answer, Gillian. <laughs> okay, right. Um, hi, Dan. I'm so glad you've got your ukulele on because I was going to ask you, do you have a song that you could sing for the travellers? Absolutely. So convenient it was here. It's a song by Weddings Parties Anything. It's called Hug My Back. Uh, it's the song I was singing to my wife when we were going out. Here we go. Would you hug my back to keep me warm? While the night goes creeping, as if there were a ghostly fall through our window peeping, the sweat comes trickling down my back. I can't sleep for her trying. Would you hold me close, whisper sweet, tell me I'm not dying? You hug my back to keep me warm. Oh, the night's so balmy, as if there were a dreadful storm. I'm the one needs calming. You tell me worries they are few. Will you say? You love me only, and I am good enough for you. You'll not leave me lonely. You hug my back to keep you warm. Oh, you're busy dreaming while the cockies creep and the mozzies swung. Through the night come teeming. Will you let me scratch? Will you let me wind? You listen to me yawning. Will you kick my ass and push me out? And say, dear boy, it's morning. Well, I wouldn't say it's the most romantic song, but it does have some very true sentiment in it. Eh? <laughs> Absolutely. Fantastic. Well done. Dan, it's been a, an absolute pleasure talking to you today. Thanks so much for what you are doing out there in ukulele land. 
it's a lot it's really a lot would it be fair to say that ukulele is um is really your purpose at the moment it, it's it's certainly a passion it's certainly a passion, and and I think it. If you talk about statistics, the largest community groups you find in Australia are sporting groups, but after that, it's choirs, and after that, it's ukulele. Now, statistically, you think, oh, that doesn't seem much, but that's millions of people play the ukulele, Shirley Ann, and some of them don't know other people do. We need to get them all together so that they can all enjoy playing it together. Oh yes, that's what that is a passion for me. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, I'm doing my bit to spread the word oh, yes, indeed. about ukulele in Australia and reaching out into the world and connecting us into uh, the network of eutastic people around the world. Dan, uh, we've got about one minute left. Do you have a final word or salutation uh, to leave with the travellers, my friend? Uh Thank you very much for having us, Shirley Ann. Thank you for having this organisation. You're, you're a treasure. Uh, and, uh, and everyone uh, who is travelling, I hope to see you at some point in the future. I, I'm a fellow traveller and I'm hoping, hoping to bump into as many of you as, we, as I possibly can over the years. Fantastic. Dan, you've got a Facebook page. You can be found at Hills Ukulele Festival, Ortler, mm -hmm. um, the organisation, and uh, on Facebook. So, folks, if you want to get in touch and find out more information, uh, reach out to the Travellers Ukulele Gig Guide, to Dan uh, personally, or uh, preferably on the websites of Huff and Ortler. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct. You, you'll definitely be getting responses uh I'll be honest, I, I, I spend more time on Facebook as Hills Ukulele Festival and Ortler as my, rather than myself. So you'll get a better response going that way. Fantastic. Um, okay, well, that's the end of our, our session today. So Dan, wish you luck with all of your endeavours um, from tomorrow onwards. The month of March is really um, heating up there. I look forward to seeing you in Melbourne. And uh, aloha, my friend. Thank you for your time. Aloha. Thank you for having me, Shirley Ann. It's been a pleasure. Yay, we did it. Well done, buddy. Hurrah, hurrah. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Okay, well, you've got 1 minute 33 seconds. That's good. So that was it. Uh, so I find the 40 minute, uh, you know, sort of segment works really quite well. Um, thanks for that. It's really good. What are you going to do with the rest of your day? Uh, today I'm going out in the backyard and brush cutting thistles. Oh. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I've uh, only just healed up. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, I was brush cutting blackberries. That This was all scarred up. That I've healed those up, so now I'm getting to the thistle patch. Uh, and then later this afternoon, I've got, as I said, a, a rehearsal for the Melbourne Ukulele Festival with the tall ones. Fantastic. All right, my friend, we're about to run out of time. So aloha to you. All the best today. Fabulous stuff. Thanks, Shirley. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, travellers. Don't forget to subscribe, follow or click notifications on your preferred platform so you don't miss a yarn. We're posting a new episode every Wednesday morning because it's a great hump day, pick me up kind of a podcast. Thanks for listening. This is Shirley Ann. Aloha.